Hello, my name is Anya Grabitsky and I'm the Executive Secretary of the Global Water Partnership. Thank you for allowing me this opportunity to address you about one of the most important development issues of our time, climate change and water resources management. Everyone knows that water is essential to the life of the planet and the prosperity of its people. What fewer people know and what political leaders are failing to address is that increasing pressures of climate change, population growth, combined with urbanization and evolving energy needs are together putting unprecedented pressure on our finite freshwater resources. The effects of climate change are particularly felt through the water cycle. Global warming is bringing increasing climate variability as the water cycle speeds up, causing more frequent floods as well as droughts and contributing to rising sea levels. The vision of the Global Water Partnership is for a water-secure world, a vision that addresses the global water crisis. That vision of water security will only be realised if water resources management moves to the top of the development agenda. We do this in three ways. Firstly, GWP advocates for the implementation of an integrated approach to water resources management. That means we need to coordinate the development and management of water, land and related resources in a holistic way in order to maximise the economic and social welfare without compromising the sustainability of ecosystems. Water is the thread that binds together all sectors. Secondly, with over 2,000 institutional partners in 153 countries, we have multiple stakeholders from many sectors. That gives us convening power the ability to draw together water users from various sectors and provide a neutral platform for dialogue that can result in changes to laws, policies and practices on the ground. And thirdly, GWP provides a technical leadership and resources. For example, we created the GWP Toolbox, a public online knowledge centre with the tools, references and case studies needed for better water management. Speaking of resources, allow me to point out some of our publications about water and climate change that you might find useful. We have an in-depth background paper on water security and climate change. If you are a scientist or a water practitioner, this is for you. The paper focuses on water adaptation as an essential response to the effects of climate change. For those of you who are looking for talking points or who are policy makers who want to know the bottom line, there is a one-page policy brief. These items, along with many other climate change-related resources, can be found at our website. In addition to these resources, it's important for you to know about a few of our programmatic activities. The Associated Programme on Flood Management is a joint programme between GWP and WMO, the World Meteorological Organisation, which has been developing guidelines and tools for managing floods in an integrated way over the past 10 years. This means taking into account all aspects of floods, the destructive as well as the beneficial aspects, and looking at the legal and institutional needs of flood management, the environmental aspects, economic and social aspects. In 2009, a help desk was created through which any country or community can put forward a request for assistance on an aspect of flood management. This is a demand-driven mechanism designed to be responsive to genuine requests made for technical assistance by a country or a community. A second joint programme is now being structured between GWP and WMO to bring together guidelines and tools for integrated drought management and to establish a similar demand-driven mechanism, but clearly with a different range of partners and different sets of skills. Turning to broader adaptation efforts, the Global Water Partnership believes it will be crucially important for developing countries not to create a separate silo for adaptation, but to integrate these efforts with the ongoing development agenda. Otherwise, there will be fragmentation and duplication of development efforts. This is why we are advocating for recognising that water management, climate adaptation and development go hand in hand. And we're building a program together with our partner organisations in Africa, which links these efforts. GWP is accredited as an intergovernmental organisation with the UNFCCC, the UN's Climate Convention, 
and has argued the case for linking water and climate adaptations during the climate negotiations. GWP has also pledged its support for the Nairobi Work Programme on Adaptation, Impacts and Vulnerability, which has been established under the UNFCCC. Finally, the GWP Technical Committee continues to work together with knowledge partners such as yourselves to share vital research results and cutting-edge thinking on water and adaptation and to use this research evidence to inform policies at regional and country level. Thank you again for your attention and interest. In closing, let me invite your institution to join our Global Action Network. You can find partnership information on our website. Let's build a water-secure world together. <laughs>